Yo, what is up guys? Lucky here with another Apex Legend video and we're going to talk about something that is found very close to Sniper Mountain and no, I'm not talking about the Prowler Carcass. I'm talking about a shipping box with a very familiar company name that if you have played Titanfall 2, you will know exactly what I'm talking about now. The company name is Wernack or hopefully I said that correctly. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see the article yourself. But basically, it is a company that ships tools and machines and stuff to whatever planet is being pretty much worked on or any kind of construction similar to how there is the harvester on World's Edge. But this specific box looks a little bit too small compared to the way it looked in Titanfall 2. And it does lead me to make an assumption that the prowlers came inside of this metal crate. Hence why the crate is there. Now there's one crate, but in the article there is somebody that points out that these crates can be seen when we first arrived on World's Edge before Season 4. They were spread out. So Respawn has been indicating at us for a while that World's Edge will be and currently is under construction because there is more to come. So is it possible that only tools and machinery and machinery came in these boxes or are there more prowlers coming in these boxes? Now I'm going to go ahead and also talk about something else that was data mined about the prowlers and I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys right now. Alright guys, so with the Bloodhound event, there are several charms that will be added throughout that time period that the event is out. And also when the event ends, more charms will be added a lot more. But there are three charms specifically that will be able to be earned. And all you have to do is kill Prowlers. It looks like there are going to be several challenges that involve killing these Prowlers. Now, these charms have to do with the bloodhound trailer one of them is the horn of the goliath or goliath hopefully i said that right the second one is a viking ship and the third one is a viking shield that you will be able to earn another way that you will be able to get these charms may be to have a bloodhound on your team probably by scanning them and tracking down the prowlers or like i said killing them or maybe both but you will most likely need a Bloodhound on your team since this whole event is dedicated to Bloodhound. And in my opinion, it is a way better event than the first time when we got the Bloodhound heirloom, which is great. But the event did lack a trailer and it did lack a back story. So we did got that this time. But like I said, it looks like the event is very focused on Bloodhound. So if you have a Bloodhound main out there it's very nice for you to have them on your team because they will definitely be helping you out all right guys so that is all for today's video i just wanted to kind of show you guys the brand new charms that are going to be coming with the event that will be unlockable through prowlers not exactly sure how it fully works but wanted to kind of give you guys an insight on what i'm learning as the days go by leading up to the event everything is in the description for you guys to click on so, with that said, I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you like the video. Like I said, I hope everybody's day and night is going well. It is your boy Lucky. And with that said, peace out guys. I'll see you on the next video.